Okay, um, hello ladies in here and maybe some gentlemen through the screen. <laughs> yeah. okay. uh, let me start my presentation for today. So our second um, topic is about art and I'm really glad that we chose art because I'm really interested in art and it's maybe a fun thing to say. So uh, today uh, what I brought is, um, the title is Art in Life. So let's get started. Well, what is art? I look up for the, uh, the rigid definition of art and it says this, a diverse range of human activities and the products of those activities. And usually involving in imagina imaginative or technical skill. Mm -hmm. When you hear these big words, you cannot, you cannot say art, mm -hmm. you know. If you, if you don't see the name art mm -hmm. and just hear this term, you may not guess yeah. this is the definition for art. Mm. So, when you think about art, what, what do you think about? We probably think these pictures. Oh. 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 <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like, night. Everyone loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So. And maybe Clint. Oh, yeah. Also famous. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful artwork. Yeah. Mona Lisa, for sure. Yeah. These are probably the main examples of art when, he, when we all hear about art. Mm -hmm. But I want to raise a question that does art only include these masterpieces? Mm -hmm. Well, we, we talked about it earlier, but um, when we think of art, we think art is such a classic, mm -hmm. novel thing. Like, it's way up in here. It's <laughs> such for high classes or whatever. Mm -hmm. but, does really art only set or only include these masterpieces? Mm -hmm. I would say no, and I want to show you guys an example. Well, art is for anyone, I think. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, artwork for uh, made by a kid in Korea, mm -hmm. and he posted his art in an uh, elevator of his apartment. Oh. And it you cannot maybe see it all the way through, but it's kind of a, like a letter that they are moved just mm -hmm. just right away in the uh, in the new apartment and he just want to say hello to everyone in oh. the apartment and everyone was really shocked when they see the text because nowadays in Seoul or everywhere in in the world they don't just know neighbors anymore they don't know anyone like i even, i even don't know it, um the person next to my door. Mm -hmm. Even though we just share a thin wall, we don't, we don't know anything about them. But when we see this, we, our heart just you know breaks, uh, it's melting, it's so sweet. And so and then everyone was just writing a letter back to the, um, the artwork mm -hmm. on the wall and it um, became really famous because it's just uh, such a sweet thing to watch. When we see this, like everyone <laughs> was writing a message back to them, like, oh, mom, hello to um, our apartment, and we are really um, happy to see you guys, and because of your letter, my life, my day, just, you made my day, mm -hmm. and it made my day too, just when I watch it through um, the window of the internet, I just think it's such a cool thing, and I think maybe because of his art, Everyone may um, became so happy, and this is the power of art, I think. Mm -hmm. And we cannot say that his art, this art, is a masterpiece, mm -hmm. but it also also make us our heart just just so cheerful. So, <coughs> this is the reply from their parents, and they were really happy because. They didn't expect this much feedback and love <laughs> for everyone, from everyone, and it's just, it, I think it's just a perfect story to tell and, and for everyone. Mm. And I want to raise another question. The, do we have to go to art school in order to create art? Well, the previous example also shows the answer of this question too, but when we think about, think about it, well, like we tend to think people who do art, they are maybe from the art school for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's, this is not true too. When you, when you see this, do you think that it's not art? It's a piece of drawing, yeah. which is art, I say. 
I think everyone can make art because I made this one. Whoa. And my major is not art, it's a boring <laughs> social studies, <laughs> communication and media affairs. <laughs> but I, I say maybe I could create art and anyone, mm -hmm. everyone can make art, even mm -hmm. though you don't go to the art school. And this is another piece of my artwork. Wow. I did it, so everyone can do it too. Like, you can just grab a pen and piece of paper and just draw things. Like this, the theme of this artwork is like a kind of collage of my favorite things. So you can see my dog here, yeah. Munchi. And I, I love shoes. Anyone loves shoes. <laughs> like girls, like you love shoes. You gotta admit it. And you can see Starbucks, um, Profitito. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to explain it. <laughs> like, and I like jewelries, so like you like here, and I like my phone, listening to music, all of it. And when you see everything, it's not like I put things very accurately, but still you can see this is a drawing. And I think that's the important part of it. Like, you don't have to be good at it, but you can do it too. Also, this is another piece of my artwork. Um, it shows my, I, I would say, I don't know, my priority in my life. It just shows that like I draw with a pen and uh, I care about the uh, earth. <laughs> I, really, I, I really do. <laughs> and um, I'm, a, I'm, a Buddhist, I'm a Buddhist, so I draw a lot of and I put my name on it, and I put my slogan for the better word and stuff. And I just felt so happy when I draw this, even though I was in a midterm midterm week. And I drew this, <laughs> and I was in school. It was at like 3 a.m. in the morning, and I was in library. Oh, but wow. I still felt great because I was doing, I was having fun. Mm -hmm. I was creating an art and. I didn't mean it to show it to everyone or want it to be a really good masterpiece, but I still do feel great and I think that's another important part of uh, creating an art. And you don't have to go to the art school in order to create art for sure. And also, I do a calligraphy thing too as a, my hobby. Is you don't have to be good at it. Like in the first, who, who, I, and no one is good at anything. But you have to start. Like I started in when I was in high school, and I, I real, I didn't really good at it. But I kept try, try, and it get, it gets better. Like, but people think that art is. Like you have to be born with it, like you have to be talented, but it's not. It's not like that. So you can just start to do it, like that's the important part. And also you don't have to be creative, like people think that you have to be creative and imaginative in order to create art, but it's not. I'm just writing a, a, my favorite lyrics from my favorite song and it's not that hard, like everyone does it too. And you have to put it on the paper in order to create an art, which is such an easy thing to do. Mm. Another piece mm. that I wrote, like the pen, like everyone asks my, what pen I use, yeah. it's like 301, like 30 cents <laughs> colored pencil, oh. any, any pen you can, you can use. And it's a back of a, a PPT slide I use for my class, <laughs> so it doesn't have to be really fancy like in, in order to create an art, even though we think that art is a noble thing for a high class. Mm. Well, it, it is not for sure. Well, this, I made a bookmark, oh. and I sold over 400 bookmarks for a week. Yeah, it was cool, wow. I think. Like, I, like, in the first place, I wanted to make only, only 100, but um, the calls were kept coming in, so I just raised my, um, the numbers of my book bookmarks, and I also uh, gave, gave away for charity. Like, I created this um, bookmarks with my friends and we donated the whole money. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm 
not in major art, or I'm not trained in art, I don't know, <coughs> anywhere. Like, but um, I still do art for fun, and I don't think that no one can have to be, you know, trained to, in order to create an art. And I think art is for everyone, so, and I did it, so you can do it too. I think art is the easiest way to brighten up the world, because you just, you don't need anything, you just need a pen and a piece of paper, and you just put your thoughts on the paper. It's the easiest way to uh, show yourself, express yourself, and probably the easiest hobby in the world, like anyone can draw. You can draw a person with the so sticks and <laughs> just a circle. Anyone can do it. Like you, if you think about it yourself, like everyone says that I'm not good at art. I I suck. But when you think about it, you actually enjoyed doing art when you, when you were really a little kid. Like everyone probably done it, done it. But now you don't do it. Like why? Why not? Like it's pretty much the fun. The fun, I think it's. The easiest way is it's the hobby in the world. And art is how fun is it? It's such a fun. And it's, you don't need anything. You don't need to have this skill. You don't have to be educated or anything. But many people think there is a huge work, a barrier between yourself and the art. It's like a sep you, you, you guys think that you are separated from the world of art, but it's, it's actually not. <laughs> So I, I, want, I wanted to bring um, this topic up because I want everyone to be familiar with art mm -hmm. and I don't want you to feel like you are separated from the world of art, which is awesome. And I just wanted to show you this. The art without, uh, the earth without art is just, eh, you know, yeah. you can understand it. And the earth also includes you, you everyone, so maybe this time you can try art. Like when I when when somebody asks me what's your hobby, I always say my hobby is drawing. I do art for fun. And they they were like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you're cool. Like, whoa, you must be so good. And I was like, no, I'm not. And many people think art is in that way, but it in fact it's not. So that's why what, what I wanted to say. So this is for everyone in here. I want boys and girls to be ambitious in art. And thank you for today. Okay.